Okay, what we're going to show you today is quite hot imposing. Quite hot imposing is its own standalone. Uh, we're on Mac or Windows. This version just happens to be on Mac. And you can create anything, uh, do any kind of setup you want, step repeat, work and turn, work and tumble, any kind of setup that you would normally do in quite imposing plus our plugin, but you can do a standalone and work with any kind of workflow you want, whether it's command line and or in this case, a uh, hot folder. Okay, so let's get started. What I want to do, and for my setup today to show you, is I'm going to take a background that has a color bar on it, just a PDF, and what I want to do is I want to put business cards as many as I can up on this sheet. So I also have my business card, and it could be one business card, or it could be many business cards, have whatever you want to set up, and I'm going to drop it into uh, Quite Hot, and you're going to see how wonderfully it works. So in this case, uh, let's disable the booklet because we're not going to create a booklet here. Let's create something brand new. Let's hit Add. We also have an Express Setup. Express Setup is going to let us uh, easily set up. Uh, I'm just going to set them up to my desktop so you can see them. Uh, an In-Out folder, Done folder, and an Error folder. And they're right there for you. Hit Next. And again, we can actually bring in XMLs from our existing quite imposing plus uh, customers already have XMLs that they've created, uh, setups they've already done, signatures, etc. Um, or in this case, we're going to create a brand new one, and you can create brand new ones uh, within uh, obviously Quite Hot or do Command Line, however you'd like to uh, set up your workflow. Let's create a new sequence. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and define a bleed because I have a small bleed on this uh, card. And the entire document, all pages, is fine, even though it's only one card. And you can actually see that set up there. And then I'm going to go and let's just do a quick little step and repeat. And by virtue of anything that I set up here, it will all be saved as an XML. And again, once I drop into my folder, you're off and running. So in this case, I'm going to say sheets will not be trimmed. Uh, maybe cutting them, but I'm not trimming them. I like it to be 100% margins. Um, just know that I, whatever margin you set up here um, will go through the entire document. So I mean, I even have advanced setups, so I could actually go in here and say I want to go from the left uh, even further um, than I have set up here. Uh, I could change my horizontal or vertical spacing, whatever, again, whatever you'd like to set up for yourself. And crop marks, uh, you can use our crop marks, uh, or you can actually bring a file that already has crop marks in it, no problem. In this case, I'll just use some basic ones here. You can change the distance from the edge of the sheet, the mark length, uh, width, etc. And again, as I said, I already have a background that I want with my color bar on it, so I don't have to use any of the ones I've already created here. Let's go to more choices. And instead of using a blank one, we're going to actually go for a customer background that already exists. Let's hit Next. Background color bar 1, we'll call it. And let's browse for that. It's right there. Click OK. And again, you can also use this on the background over and over again if you had a signature that you wanted to repeat. Um, decide that you want it to be on certain backgrounds or you can do some special things if you want to use it once then don't use it those kinds of things let's go two across oh five or six down and let's go ahead and center it say okay to that hit finish and again you can see all those steps are there if i want to edit anything any one of these steps here i can very easily my background one we'll call it and let's hit next will it be enabled that's now enabled so anything now that I drop into my in folder will be processed that job is done we'll go to my out folder I will take a look at that file 
And you can see that I have my file up, my two across, five down, uh, set up that I want, and my background is included into that file. So that's how easy it is to uh, add a background sheet or marks or uh, maybe you want your own uh, company logo, those kinds of things on the sheet itself uh, before it ever gets printed out. Thank you very much and have a great day.